Nice fish. What do you guys think it is? African pompano, rooster fish. So I was fortunate enough to be able to fish with Jeff, the president of Salt Life, and Louisa and a few of the other team members while we were out here. We pull up to the first spot and almost immediately Jeff hooks into a snapper. That's dinner right there. Yellowtail. Pacific Yellowtail. Woo-wee! Alright, we have dinner. Got a Pacific Yellowtail snapper. Fantastic. It's gonna be uh, great this evening on the grill. Right after that snapper, he hooked into a pretty nice barracuda. Oh, what is that, a wahoo? Oh, it's a cuda. Barracuda. Right up on this side. I can't believe he hasn't cut the line yet. You know what? The Barracuda was super slippery when we pulled him in the boat. He was just sliding all over the place. I couldn't get my hands on him. But once I finally did, I don't even think Jeff wanted to hold him. He's like, you know what, buddy? Just go ahead and let him go. Team Salt Life just showed up last night and uh, kicking the day off with a Pacific Barracuda. They're always fun, right? Always oh, yeah. fun. Yeah. They're a blast. Here we go. <laughs> he went in real quick. And then I caught a little baby grouper. I don't even know what kind it was. It was only like that big, like super small. But it was really neat to be able to run into one of those out there as well. Smallest fish of the day. It's a grouper. I'm not even sure. It's a pretty one. started putting around a little bit again, seeing if we could run into something else. And we ended up catching an African pompano, which was awesome because Jeff was wanting one for dinner and we got it. Woo! The shot! Aha! It's under the boat. All right, we just got a fish here in Costa Rica. Seems like a good one. You got dinner, girl. Oh my gosh, it's not a rooster fish. It's actually an African pompano. Can I grab him? Do you want to grab him? Here, Charlie. All right, I'll help you. Here you go. Woohoo! Check it out. Little African pompano, guys. Pretty little guy. Oh, They're delicious to eat. Rooster fish, African pompano, we got everything here in Costa Rica. <laughs> and then after that African pompano, we ended up getting another one. Woo! It's gonna be a nice fish. What do you guys think it is? African pompano, rooster fish. It's an African pompano. Interesting is that this African pompano doesn't have streamers. I already lost the streamers. It's an adult. Yeah. Woo. It's shaking all over the place. This is gonna make an excellent ceviche. We had an amazing time today inshore fishing here in Costa Rica with the Salt Life team. Now we're gonna go head back in, have them cook this fish for us, and can't wait for tomorrow. We're gonna go catch some more fish. Throw them in a the cooler.
took our African pompano and they grilled it up right there at the resort. And some of the boats that went offshore got into a bunch of tuna. So we had plenty of sashimi and they even grilled up some tuna for us. Hey, I'm Jeff Stillwell at Salt Life. I'm down here in Costa Rica at Crocodile Bay. We've had a fantastic day out on the water. Uh, caught some African pompano that we've already cleaned. And we also have a, a yellowtail snapper that we caught. We're about to clean that here. And Chef Enrique, Chef, Chef Enrique, here at Crocodile Bay is going to show me how they cook this fish. Literally Costa Rica style. I, I do a lot of cooking myself, but I need to learn from this expert. So we're going to learn how he does the fish and we're going to watch him prepare the snapper. Obviously, you know, when you rough clean a fish on, on a dock, you know, the chef gets, the first thing you see in the video is Chef Enrique literally cleaning up the fish to make it perfectly, the filet's absolutely perfect to go on the grill. We season them with a little bit of salt and a little uh, saison complete, so it's kind of a complete seasoning. You don't need too much seasoning when you're using a very fresh piece of fish that was literally two hours ago was swimming in the ocean. So we literally, after we did that, we threw those on a very hot grill, a big nice green egg under charcoal fire and we pull those off and have a beautiful platter of fish that we're gonna be uh, enjoying here in just a few minutes.